Goldman. And I'm Heated Rena. That's right. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Jump Point Show, everybody. Uh, this yeah. is uh, National Public Radio version of the Big Jump Fun Show, where we talk about the hard-hitting news topics of the day. Of the economy. Like Bruce Springsteen and Paul McCartney. Uh, and to continue on, we were just talking about uh, Paul McCartney, Bruce Springsteen. They were uh, they were having a concert in London, of which uh, they, they, they got a little crazy, as they these concerts do. No, they weren't really crazy. And they decided to break the law. They didn't break the and law. And Rena thinks no. that you should be allowed to break the law no. if you're very famous. I don't think you're very famous. All I'm saying is 1030 for a concert to get over. Come on. It's in the ordinance. Is... That is the law. Whatever. That is the law set forth All by Her I Majesty have to the say, Queen. Here we go bringing up money again, but 65,000 people at this concert. And you mean to tell me that the, co- the city... Did not make any whopping money off of that. And, you I mean, just the vendors out there and the people buying and just the attraction they got. So, you, okay, so you're, so that, I mean, that's, that's a good like, argument. That's you like, could say that you you can break the law if there's lots of money involved. That's just like the All-Star, how people are complaining, oh, how come they cleaned up uh, Truce and how come they cleaned up this? They did it because the All-Star came into town and they did it because all the money that was coming into the city. How late, how late did FanFest last? I have no idea. It Too was, long. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't past the ordinance, I'm sure. But I, I, mean, I, I like. I don't understand the whole uproar with. Okay, it's Paul McCartney. It, it, it's Bruce Springsteen. Granted, sorry, these are pretty pretty popular sir, dudes. Sir Paul McCartney. I apologize. Sir, 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 sir Paul. Paul McCartney, McCartney and Sir Bruce Springsteen. Uh, they're they're rocking out. They're they're the guitars are wailing. I think what if, it's past ten thirty. Okay, I get they that. Broke okay, the fine, law. fine. If it was past ten thirty, I get that. But you already let him Maybe go. They should have started an hour they, early. No, they already let him go an hour past ten thirty. They shouldn't have let him being go. Gracious. Yeah, they were, and then they, they were, were like, being, "Listen, these guys are just gonna." Next okay. thing you know, they're gonna break out and start singing. Say, you know, say, say. No, and that's but, just too much. No, but what they should have <laughs> let Bruce and Paul do is at least thank the crowd. They didn't even get to thank them. They just cut the mic. So what they should have said is, we know are cutting the feels. mics, thank them real quick, and get them out of here. So at least they could have said, thank you all for coming in attendance. 65,000 of you came to see me perform. That's it. Just to they, thank you. They probably you. actually said that, but no one heard it because they had no amplification. Yeah. Well, no, that's what I'm Sometimes saying. Though, you just have well, there been, been in places where if you have somebody that won't take the hint, you just got to turn the mic. I know, but they should have. <laughs> they should at least... Gave them a chance to thank the crowd. Like the crowd control, like whoever's running the running the concert, there the, somebody was probably getting on them. Like, hey, you got to wrap this up. It's ten. It's like ten forty. You got to shut this off. We're gonna get fined. And, and they're then, like, and they're then, like, hold on. That's and they're probably when, like giving notes. Like, you got to wrap it up. Thank everybody. And that's and when they're Bruce just pulls Paul McCartney out of the concert, like Courtney Cox. Yeah. And they sing a couple of songs. Fine. Do they dance? My the opinion dark? is my opinion, and I think concerts getting over at ten thirty. It's Pointless. What time did the concert start? Nine. I, I don't think. Know. I'm I think. That up. One thing we can learn, I think, is, is that there's really nobody to blame for all the crap that goes on in, in the country, county, city, state. There's there's nobody to blame except for ourselves. Like we're we have a system where we vote people in office, and if you don't like the 10:30 ordinance, then you. Get a posse together, put it on the ballot, and let's and, vote to have it to eleven thirty. Like and a, you tell me that's going to work. We all voted for Obama for all this change, and you tell me what has changed. Well, here's the deal. So you feel slighted because you voted for Obama, mm-hmm. and he didn't change anything. Mm-hmm. Perfect. This is your opportunity for you to change yeah. that. Yeah, okay. go, go ahead and vote for Mitt Romney. You know what vote I want? And I bet there'll be a lot of changes. I Not necessarily re- in your favor, but there'll be know. changes. I know. Like no health, national health care. Yeah. So there will be good changes. <laughs> <laughs> health care. Are we going to talk health care? No, no, no. I'm just saying that, that, that when you when you break it all down to like, uh, for instance, the uh, city workers getting uh, minimum wage, right? Mm-hmm. That is that is a, a, a policy that was decided on. I, I'm assuming a city council of some sort. Uh, it's not a mayor that said, "Ah, let them eat cake." You know, no, it I, was it was the mayor. It, it was a mayor that said that, yeah, right? Mayor, okay, so if you're upset about that, you get that mayor out of there. You well, vote somebody else in there. And I it's, understand. It's, it's easy as that. It is easy as that, but at the same time, I'm just showing that I just this whole U.S. thing and the way that it is right now. I just think it's hurting the people so mm-hmm. much, and just just like it goes back with. You know, if you buy a decent house that's within your budget and you're making 
so much money a year and then you have a kid and it's like it's like the way that us is is just you can't have kids you might as well not get married you might as well just eat ramen noodles for the rest of your life because it doesn't matter because all your money is going to go into bills mm-hmm. all, and it, it doesn't matter how much you save and how much you try and how hard you work that's just the way it is right now i think if there's anything it's uh, that america has proven that if you if you work hard you put your nose to the grindstone and uh, you can, anything is possible that's why uh william hung it was singing uh, "Live in La Vida Loca" on American Idol. Like, like so, much, like so much stuff is possible in this country versus it's very others. Very possible, but it's possible that they were just doing that to make fun of him. That's true. <laughs> but he ended yeah. up uh, laughing all the way to the bank because now he's like singing birthday party yeah. and getting well, you know, hundred bucks a pop. Just, just going back on health care. I mean, if, if what was it like two months ago? I was complaining about it because I technically, if I were to get married and try for a kid, none of it under my individual health plan wouldn't have been covered until January first of two thousand fourteen. Now I I got a job that allows me to have benefits through them, and now I have no, I just had to wait thirty one days. But that wasn't had anything to do with Obama. Uh, no, no, it has nothing to do with Obama. But now that Obama is doing this health plan where you you have to have health insurance, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have had that problem. Even though that doesn't pass until again two thousand fourteen. Yeah. But now, you know, but, having but a being, kid, being, being pre-existing. A let's just say you had uh, your other job, or let's just say you had no insurance whatsoever. Like and me. You, and you get knocked up. Say Gunnar gets knocked up right now. Mm-hmm. Nine months later, he's ready to deliver this child. It's coming out. It's coming out. He is freely going to be welcomed into any hospital. They will deliver the baby, give him post care, post uh, or postnatal with care, how, and a bill. With, and what a, kind and, of and bill, the, the, though? My bill you would have be a bill. Who can, like you have a bill when services how are. How many thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of bill would I have? You're right. They're I just, not going to put you in jail just, for the, a medical bill. I'd have the child at home. They're not going to put you in jail, but no. that's a, the that's a point of having health insurance, so you aren't paying 10 well, I mean, what if I have a bad pregnancy? Not a bad pregnancy, but what if I have a C-section, or what if I don't have a normal pregnancy? Nobody is going to turn you away. They're not going to turn me away. They're not going to sew you up and say, keep that baby in there. They're We're not, not going to do it. They're not going to turn me away, but at the end of the day, the reason why I don't have health insurance if I was in that situation was because I couldn't afford it. So what makes you think I would afford a twenty thousand dollar bill. What are you going around getting knocked up for? Yeah, think responsible. If you but don't I'm, have insurance, but I'm not. What do you think? You're black or something? Oh! <laughs> I didn't say yeah! it. I didn't say it. Yeah! I did not say that. A that is over the line. I sir. will not be getting pregnant until I get married. And B, I've always paid my own health insurance. I think if the, if anything is going to be said racist on the show. Really, it's, it's me. It's your job. Yeah, I, and so this is super surprising that <laughs> Gnurg did it. I did not say it. I did not say it. Hey, guys, big thanks to Jason P. Hunt stopping by the big show, uh, talking yes. about uh, Comic-Cons and everything nerdy. Always like having him in studio. Comic-Con uh, Carney, sci-fi also for, for me. taking some photos of the Big Dumb Fun Show crew, cast We and could crew. have a possible secret. We may be on the... No, don't say it. Yeah, you're going to jinx it. You cover. can't say it. Don't say it. Of the Rolling Stone. Yes. I always wanted to be on the cover of the Rolling Stone. No, you, Absolutely. you this can't is the, I just this. didn't know just Jason P. Hunt taking those pictures. Yeah. If I'd known that, I would have said yes to the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. It's been a uh, whirlwind of a show. We uh, appreciate you tuning in. Make sure to tune in uh, the same bat time, same bat channel next week. Right here via BigDumbFunShow.com. Like our page, Facebook.com slash the big du- or Facebook.com slash BigDumbFunShow for all oh, of our yeah. news and updates. Mm-hmm. At least 20% of you will reach them uh, throughout the week. So we very much thank you. Ross, thank you. Taking shots as well. And until next week, we we will see see ya. ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya.
Pirate 